Right, so now we're looking the other direction and I can see that down below we have a white stripe and it stands out that it's different from other rock types. What can you tell us about it? Well, well that white stripe as you describe it is actually a white layer. So it's part of the sequence of sedimentary rocks that we see in this part of, of the old Hedekin Sail. However, it has a particular special origin. That white material is actually volcanic ash. So during the accumulation of sediment uh, in this part of, um, in, in, of the old head can sail during the Carboniferous, we had a volcanic event that expelled this volcano or volcanoes. Was it an underwater volcano? No, no, the ocean no, or no, 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 no. This, this would have been subaerial. However, uh, the ash would uh, settle onto the, the into the, the, the water column, into the seawater column, and settle to the sea floor. Okay, so it would become part of the sequence uh, of sedimentary rocks that we see uh, in this part of, um, of, of, of the old head. What's interesting is that there are minerals that we can date or potentially date within ash layers like this. So for geologists, ash layers like this can be very, very useful for dating mm -hmm. uh, in absolute and relative terms the age of the rocks uh, associated with, with the layer or close to the layer. So <clears throat> all the rock types that we see here in the old head, are they, have they been formed during the Carboniferous period? Correct. And where was Ireland during that period? Ireland was, was, was a much, much closer, uh, was obviously much, much closer to the equator. So we would have had a, a more, uh, for, for want of a better term, a more tropical, uh, shallow marine type of, of, of climate during this, this time. Mm -hmm.